Hi Footubers, I'm Alex, the French guy cooking, and today we're making the most famous and delicious French soup ever, the onion soup gratiné, or in French, la soupe à l'oignon gratiné. It really is a simple and humble soup, but with so much flavor in it. Sweet and caramelized onion swinging in a hearty stock, and topped with crispy and garlicky bread and melted cheese, of course. It's supposed to be spot on for broken hearts and bad hangover, so in my opinion, it's very useful. Let's do it. Start with one kilo of onions, which in my case is about five big ones. Yellow or white ones, it doesn't matter. Grab a sharp knife and start mincing those onions. To do so, cut the onion in half, place the cut side down and start slicing at the opposite end of the root. Oh, by the way, keep the root, because it's holding everything in place. Every time I'm chopping onion, I cry. Well, I'm not even sad, this is such a waste. I hate wasting. So maybe I could season the soup with my tears. Place a heavy bottom pan like this Dutch oven, for example, on medium heat. Two tablespoons butter go in, and a drizzle of neutral oil to prevent it from burning. Drop all the onions in. If it looks too much, that's perfect, because during cooking it will reduce a lot. Season well with salt. It will pull the moisture out and help the caramelization going on. Stir it from time to time. It takes at least 30 minutes to reach a beautiful brown color, which is the secret of a proper onion soup. When it looks good, pour in a glass of white wine. Do not use a sweet wine, because we are looking to balance the flavor, and the onions are already sweet. Instead, use a dry wine, or in more appetizing word, a fresh wine. This action is called deglazing, but really, it's simply scraping and dissolving the brown and caramelized bits from the bottom, and using those to pump up the flavor of the sauce. If you want to, you can replace the alcohol with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Afterwards, add one tablespoon of flour, mix well, and cook for about a minute. Add one liter of organic beef stock. Of course, if you want to keep it vegetarian, just use vegetable stock. Add a bunch of dried herbs like thyme, rosemary, or bay leaves. Let the soup simmer for about 20 minutes. Don't season the soup too early, because while simmering thus evaporating, it will get stronger and more salty. Taste it at the end and adjust. Adding a dash of cognac or brandy will make it mad. Well, I'm basically planning on revealing every secret of the French cuisine, so stay tuned. To build a crust, grill up some bread, rub it with garlic and make slices float on top of the soup. Of course, using stale bread for that job would be just as good. Sprinkle that with a guilty amount of melted cheese. Swiss Gruyere cheese is fine, but for a truly French touch, use Comté cheese. And please don't go light, it's supposed to be decadent. Pop this bowl in a preheated oven set to broiling mode at full whack. The soups are ready when the crust is crispy and golden. That's why gratiné. They look beautiful, right? Trust me, they taste amazing. To eat it, you're supposed to get a bit of everything, cheese, bread, and of course, that silky and flavorful broth. I told you this is about comfort food. It's perfect on a and wet Mondays if you want to brighten your day. It looks quite magical. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to FoodTube and to my own channel as well for many more delicious recipes. Bye bye, salut!